Hey guys, good afternoon. Tony back again, Horror in Todge. Hope you're all well. Red out here in the UK at the minute. Ooh. So I'm out and about today. I just dropped my little girl off at a party. So I thought I'll come to Nottingham, have a look around HMV and CX, if there's any sales stuff about, you know, stuff still around. Uh, I'm going to be on the lookout for a few of the um, generic titles, you know, stuff for like a pound and two pound out of CX that I haven't got in the collection. You know, the Annabelles of this world and stuff. I've got a few of them, but, you know, it's just to bought the collection out. have got a new shelf coming, so, you know, get some more horror films in there. Some more of the standard stuff as well. Because I do like all that. I like Sinister and all that sort of stuff. But like I say, it's red hot out here, so I'm going to get out, guys. Got a new t-shirt on. This is cool. Frank from Hellraiser. But yeah, we'll get out here, guys. I'll bring you a lot along with me, and we'll have a look, see if we can find any bargains. So guys, the first place I'm going into is CX in the Victoria Centre. Someone's offloaded loads of Doctor Who series here, loads of them. Some of the rarer ones too. There's a pretty decent film, Deathgasm, £8. A few bits and bobs there, Drive, Terminator 2, 10 quid. Blu-rays as good as the 4K. A few Jackie Jam films there. One from Eureka. I say, look at all those, Doctor Who, if you're into that. Uh, the Devil Made Me Do It, 105 quid. Not bad. Look at this reprinted cover of Mother for eight pounds. It's horrible. Nasty reprint. Loads of no time to die. Uh, Ghostbusters with a slip cover for ten quid. My Bloody Valentine remake. This one called The Oily Maniac. Uh, Asian collection. Never seen that one before. It's quite cool. Uh, Phenomena there. Josie Wales. The other bits and bobs. Us there, but that was reprinted again. Uh, Spiral there for £6. Tasuto the Iron Man for 12 quid. That is a really good film. Scarface there too. We've got The Purge for 50p. Uh, Revenge, that's a reprinted cover unfortunately. The Purge Anarchy a pound. Purge Election Year 150. So you're after those on Blu ray. And there's a few bits and bobs in, in, in there too. As you can see, quite a big store. Now let's go into HMV guys, see if there's anything in this sale. And. Um, yeah, like I say, it's pretty warm, but there's still quite a lot of people about. Here's a sale here. You've got that stupid emoji move, a eh? jigsaw there, 9 with a slip, not bad. 4K. Uh, Angel has fallen, 3 99 uh, Dracula Untold, 9 99 was there. A few bits and bobs, nothing too good. Free from Hell, 3 99 that ain't too bad. Halloween there, uh, a couple of James Bond movies. Nothing too good. I think it's all been picked through. Here's a 3 for 30 on the uh, 4Ks. You had Boys in the Hood there. Uh, Spider-Man. Hellboy. Uh, Evil Dead original. And you had some 2 for 30. There's Henry there. Uh, you had Joker. Uh, the Proposal at the bottom 4K. Is it that? The Cowboy film. There's some 2 for 30. 1917. Apocalypse Now. Tenant. Uh, Leon. Great film. Love that one. Um, here's that new one from 88 Films, Species Collection, four films in this, I've only seen the first one, it's quite really nice to be fair, 35 quid, beautiful cover, glossy and you know, here's the horror section here, so we have this one, I don't know what that is, broadcast signal, um, cool one there, The Devil Rides Out, love that film, Christopher Lee, Don't Breathe Too. Uh, layer of the White Worm, 10.99, quite cool. Uh, Lord of the Illusions, 9.99, might wait till it goes down a bit. Quite a cool 90s film, Clyde Barker. Uh, so a few bits and bobs from the horror section. The Unholy at the bottom there. Friday the 13th for yesterday, 27.99 for eight films. Quite a good price, you know. If you want all them on Blu-ray, it's not too bad. Um, here's the Arrow video section. This interested me, this new one. But it had one of those stupid tag things around it and I hate them. Always marks them. Uh, still a bit in the sale. Not too much of any, anything what I need. But some bits and bobs. Tarts for eight ninety nine, as we know. Sergio Martino set thirty nine ninety nine. Mm, pretty recent one, that is Sleep. That was quite a good German film. Here's some 88 films, guys. Not the best selection in here, to be fair. 2 for 15 for the Street Fighter. That's that new Zeta, what I picked up the other day. 
few Jackie Chan films and we had the um, Criterion Collection there, the Irishman and all that jazz. Uh, so we'll have a look in here, Mankind, haven't looked in here for a long time, We've got a load of Funko Pops, some at the bottom for five quid. All your generic stuff though, Batman and Joker and you know, all that cool stuff. The Riddler one's quite cool to be fair. Um, then you had these cool cups, uh, Jason and uh, Pennywise. And not too much in here, it's only a little store to be fair. A few figures in there and Chucky at the bottom, so yeah. So guys, just back now from Nottingham. Still red hot here. Oh, I know I keep saying it, but pretty hot here. And um, I picked up three titles from CX and three titles from HMV. The HMV sale now was a mess. I think everything's been picked through, as you saw from the video. A um, few bits and pieces, but nothing that caught my eye. So didn't bother picking anything up from there. I don't know if the Nottingham store just didn't have much good stuff in there or if it like i say it had been picked through but thought i'd show you that i think it's, the guy was saying behind the counter that it's the last uh day of the arrow video sale today so if i want anything pick you up but i didn't really want anything out of the arrow video sale so i'll show you what i picked up anyway guys so i picked up three things from um cx I'll show you those first first one is deathgasm a nice red case for eight quid um this one's really cool if you haven't seen it um it's like a, i think it's a new zealand film uh really gory and it's about this like rock band who get this um uh it's like a, a musical a musical sort of note and they start playing the music from this uh scroll and it brings out this like demon and sort of turns people into zombies and all, right, all sorts. It's, it's a comedy horror, but um, if you haven't seen that, it's really good. And that was £8, so I thought that was quite cool. Just the one disc there, Studio Canal re release in a red case. So I thought, I think he had it on DVD before, years ago, or, or I might have had a German Blu-ray or something. But I thought, yeah, for eight quid, I'll get that one. Then I picked this one up. I've never heard of it before, but it looks so interesting. Found it at the bottom of a shelf, and it's called, um, it's from 88 Films, the Shaw and Brother Collection, the 88 uh, Asian Collection, and it's the Oily Maniac. So this one looks um, a bit like, I don't know if it's like Toxic Avengers, but Japanese. Um, look at that on the back, guys. It's like some great stuff. And yeah, tell me if you've seen this one, guys. I'll, I'll be... Uh, it's an 18 certificate, so I don't know if it's quite quite crude, but um, yeah, predecessor to Troma's um, Toxic Avenger. So yeah, one disc in there, so that £10, that was quite cool, glad to get that. And then this one, I was looking, as you saw in the video, I was looking at a spiral for £6 on Blu-ray, and I was at the till. I didn't get no footage of this, and I saw a steel book up there. I was like, "Can I have a look at that, mate?" And it was the um, the Spiral uh, 4K steel book and Blu-ray combo pack. Uh, it was twelve pounds, as you can see there. And you get this. I had a look at it. I said, "Can I have a look at it first? So it comes in this nice, like plastic, plastic sleeve, I suppose, with all your stuff on the back. And then you've got this nice steel book as you can see there and um, on the back and it is mint so yeah two discs in there I've heard mixed things about this some people really like it some people hate it but um, I'm willing to give it a go and uh, the guy behind the behind the counter said he really liked it but yeah so you can't really read the back guys because you might be able to. The camera's not very good on this, but you get a load of special features and thought for twelve quid, so I bet it's about twenty, twenty-five quid for a steel book. So I thought for twelve quid, I'll get that one. And now my free pickups from uh HMV. So none in the sale, unfortunately, but I picked up um Nucleus Films, Lady Frankenstein. Now this didn't have a price on it. Um 
So I went up to the till and he said it's nine ninety nine. So I was like, I'll have that, mate. Um, I remember it being quite a cool film. I haven't seen it for a long time. Joseph Cotton. Um, so yeah, Lady Frankenstein. Quite a cool release. And then I picked up another Hammer film. Um, and this one I really do like. I haven't seen it for years. I'm glad to own it. Fourteen ninety nine. The Devil Rides Out. Christopher Lee. This is one of the better Hammer films. Um, great story. The devil worship and everything. And you get this cool sort of devil effect. You've got Christopher Lee there and all his glory. Really cool. A nice slip cover. And uh, double play there. So that's uh, The Devil Rides Out. That is an awesome film. And then the last one. I saw a friend of mine, Jamie Powell, pick this up the other day. And I did see it the other week in there, and I've never heard of it. And it's called Broadcast Signal Intrusion. So, don't know much about it. It's got this lovely slip cover, a nice black case, one of the thin cases. And it just looks a neo mystery drenched in analog terror. So, I don't know if it's like some sort of cyber, um, cyber horror. Um, from the night it says it's uh, set in the 90s so tell me if you've seen this one guys and if it's any good or not it might not be but i thought i'll try it 13.99 beautiful slip cover there really like that don't know who brought it out light bulb don't know who they are but uh look like they've done a decent job with this so hopefully the film's pretty decent it looks pretty spooky on the back with the faces and stuff so i'm hoping it's um a decent one so yeah guys, not too much um, to show you, hope you enjoyed the video, um, tell me if you spotted any bargains in there, because I didn't spot much, but uh, you know, you, you uh, win some and you lose some, but yeah, like I say, tell me if you've seen any of these films, if you think they're good pickups, I've been Tony guys, catch you all for the next video, thanks a lot for watching.